Hey ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, you're watching CHM Tech and in this tutorial I'm going to show you step by step how you can create this sort of binary image effect using GIMP. So without any small talk, let's get straight to business. Okay, so let me just open up GIMP and I'm going to start off by creating a new image. For the width, I'm going to go 1920 and for the height, we're going to go 1080. Now I'm going to make sure that my foreground color is set to black. I'm going to select my bucket fill tool and I'm going to fill this image with black. And then I'm going to select this black layer and I'm going to duplicate it. Now let me just open up a folder where I have an image of a robot head. I'm going to select that image and I'm going to drag and drop it to GIMP. Now this image is rather small for me so I'm going to resize it by selecting my resize tool. I'm going to click on the image and make sure that the two values are linked and then scale it up right here. Okay, so that should do just fine. Then I'm gonna click scale and then I'm gonna center the image horizontally. So to do that, I'm gonna select my alignment tool, click on the image and then I'm gonna click on this icon right here to align it horizontally. Now, normally for this effect, I would have to desaturate the image, but as you can see right here, the image that I'm dealing with is practically already black and white. So I'm not gonna be desaturating it. However, I will have to do some adjustments, but we're gonna do that later on. Now that I have the image scaled up and aligned, I'm gonna click on the image layer and I'm gonna position it in the center. So the order of the layers is black image, robot, black image. Okay, so the next step is to actually add the binary code. So I'm gonna select my text tool and I'm gonna draw a box over the whole image. Now, if you're like me and you're not really proficient in binary, no troubles because we're gonna use a website called unitconversion.info in order to convert ordinary text to binary. Now, the text that I'm going to use are the three laws of robotics, but you can use whatever message you want. So let me just copy that text and paste it right here in the input data, and that's going to translate it to binary. So I'm going to select all of this, copy it and paste it into GIMP. Let me just move the text layer on top and I'm going to change the text color to white. And for the font, I'm going to use impact. For the size, I'm going to go with 40 and I'm just going to mess around with the spacing just a bit. If your text doesn't cover the whole image, just paste it again. Okay, so far so good. Now we want to right click on the binary layer and we want to say alpha to selection. Now that all the zeros and ones are selected, we can actually remove this top layer with the binary code. So we're going to make sure it's selected and we're going to delete it. Now you want to right click on the top black image and say add alpha channel. This is actually very important. Then we're going to hit delete on our keyboard. Go to select none. Okay, so now as you can see the effect that I'm after is actually already looking pretty good, but I want to do some more adjustments. So like I said earlier, first off, I want to mess around with the contrast of this robot image. So I'm going to make sure the layer is selected. I'm going to click on colors and then I'm going to go to levels. Now, depending on the image that you're working on, the values that you're going to go with in this dialog box will vary. So let me just mess around with the slider just a bit until I'm happy with the way my image looks. Okay, so for now, let's leave it at that. Click OK. And then with the robot layer still selected, I'm gonna go to colors again, and I'm gonna click on curves. I'm gonna select the green channel, and I'm just gonna mess around with this curve just a bit. Nothing too much. Okay, so for the purposes of this tutorial, that should do. Let me click OK, and there you have it. Now one more thing I want to do is I want to give a little bit of color to this image. So I'm going to temporarily turn off the top layer so that I can see the robot head perfectly. And I'm going to zoom into the eye. I'm going to create a new layer, which I'm going to position right on top of the robot layer. Then I'm going to select a fuzzy brush, bring down its size. And for the color, I'm going to go with a variant of blue. I'm going to zoom in on the eye just a little bit more. Let's scale down this brush even more. And 
Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to paint this eye in a rather quote unquote unprofessional manner. I'm not gonna make it very realistic because I want the blue to be very visible later on. Okay, so for now that will do, but before we're done, we're gonna do one more thing. We're gonna lower down the opacity of this fuzzy brush to around, I don't know, something like maybe 35%, 36, and we're gonna make the brush a bit bigger. Something like this. We're gonna center our cursor on the eye and just make one click. Okay, so that's a little bit too small, so let's just undo that by hitting Control Z on the keyboard. I'm gonna bring up the size a bit more. Maybe something like this. Click on the center of the eye. Maybe that should be fine this time. Now let's just select the eraser tool, bring down its size a bit, and we're gonna erase the bits that are outside the boundaries of the robot head. Okay, so that should do. Let's just zoom out and bring up the top layer, and we're almost done. Now let's create a new layer. You can position it on the top. We're gonna select the robot head layer, right click, we're gonna say alpha to selection. Now we're gonna go to select and say to path. Then we're gonna go back to select and we're gonna click on feather. Now for this particular image, I'm gonna go with a value of 20 pixels and I'm gonna say okay. Now I wanna make sure that our foreground color is set to white. We're gonna click on edit, stroke path. And for the line width, we're gonna go with something like three or four pixels. Let's go with three for now and click on stroke. Now we're gonna go to select and click on none in order to get rid of the lines. One last thing that I wanna do is give this background a little bit more character. So with the foreground color set to white, I'm gonna click on my blend tool. And for the gradient type, I'm gonna go with foreground to transparent. Then I'm gonna zoom out and I'm gonna create a gradient that looks something like this. And there you have it. So that would be all for this time. I really do hope that you enjoyed watching the video and maybe even found it useful. Before we end the video, I just wanna tell you that if you'd like, you can follow me on Twitter. I've been trying to be more active there, so if you'd like to get to know me a bit better, you can do that on Twitter slash CHM Tech. Other than that, I just wanna thank you guys for watching, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Stay strong.